Hello and welcome again to the Pos Posse. We are here on a on uh, OK Monday. Uh, and uh, I am eating some Taco Wind Bell. Playing some Wind Waker. You know, I had a brilliant idea, like two minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, when it was revealed, both of us were eating. By the way, what are you eating? Uh, barbecue chicken and green beans. Hmm, interesting. I am eating uh, a PP5 layer and some uh, soft tacos <laughs> with no lettuce, obviously. Why no lettuce? It makes way too much of a mess. Oh, uh, yeah. Also, lettuce doesn't have flavor. Uh, it depends on the lettuce. Taco Bell lettuce doesn't have flavor. I mean, Taco Bell probably just it... uses iceberg lettuce, which is just crispy huh. water. Yeah, like, it's, it definitely adds texture, but the texture isn't worth the mess. Uh, I much prefer spinach, honestly. Um, so I had an idea. What if we played games while doing a mukbang? Uh, I would hate that. That's fair. Uh, Having trouble there? A little. No, oh, you're gonna lose it. Oh, there you go. Now you just need one more rupee. And then it'll be hell. If you uh, hold out your shield, uh, you won't be hit by the explosion. Oops. Mm. Ooh, this is an interesting chest I see. Oh, that's useful. You got the map. Mm-hmm. The map of the map your... of the map of the map of. Yep, it's the third map you've gotten. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's gonna hit the floor. Yes, it will. Uh, so, how's your week been? Alright. That's good. Hmm. My week is going to be miserable. Why is that? We recently expanded our territory at work. So, it's going to be really busy. And also, like, three people have taken PTO. Ah, uh, rip. Yeah. So, uh, we have a larger area, and we're also, um... Uh, and we're also down three members. Oof. Mm -hmm. Well, I see where I need to get to. Yeah. Almost, almost. Mm -hmm. That would have been so cool. Got it. Ah, oh. oh, cheated. So, uh, there is good news though today. Well, good news for me. Yes. What's up? So, uh, I mean, just, uh, something that made work a little bit easier today. Wow. Uh, so our in my truck's insurance expired uh, today. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, and uh, we're uh, having a little trouble get because we also got like four new trucks, and we're trying to. Basically, every truck's insurance has uh, expired today, so it's a nightmare having to get all the because uh, we were switching to a new insurance as well, mm. and we have like four new trucks. So, uh, we, uh, 
it's gonna be a little bit hectic and probably not a good idea to be pulled over uh, in the next couple weeks <laughs> but uh more importantly there were like four houses that i was uh, supposed to do today but they're in like a really really fancy neighborhood the kind with like a security guard at the gate Ooh. and uh to get in uh to get in i have to provide both uh insurance and driver's license but the insurance was expired oh my god i'm getting a phone call already oh, okay yeah so the insurance was expired which meant um uh i couldn't enter the gate which means that was four less yards i had to do Other than that, I've just been listening to like compilate or not compilation. I've been listening to a video called the uh, 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 Chris Hansen Iceberg, and it's just talking about like the people that got caught on to catch a predator. I'm back and like, oh, uh, I spend most of my day uh, listening to the Chris Hansen Iceberg. Mm hmm. Uh, and it was just basically a compilation of uh, uh, of people who were caught in To Catch a Predator and, like, what happened to them after the show and, and like, which one of them ended up becoming memes. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, I think my favorite meme, it wasn't the Predator that did it, it was the uh, decoy. Uh, the decoy was like clearly in his 20s and was trying to pass off as a 13 year old yeah and uh, the 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 uh, predator was immediately suspicious for obvious reasons and was like so uh who lives here and the the decoy was like oh just me my mommy and my daddy i hate that I hate it too. It is so awkward. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is like some of the worst acting I have ever seen. Plunk. How dare you, Plunk. Grongy, the Plunky. Uh, the shit, plunk I'm trying to think of. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I also bought a uh, Kinder Joy. You know, the less uh, the inferior Kinder Egg. Yeah, they're substitute. okay. You know, I'm pretty sure the sages built that bridge. Probably. But it's gone. Yeah! That's how you puzzle. Hell yeah. I'd kind of want... If I ever go to Canada, I'm probably going to get arrested coming back for smuggling Tinder eggs. <laughs> Just hide them inside of your body. Even the toy? Yeah. I mean, if a three-year-old can, then I guess I can too. I just gotta wait. Mm-hmm. These the rest of these boxes are kinda decoyish. Yeah, well, you only really need the one box to get on the lever and make the bridge. Yeah. The bridge has the same colors as uh the bridge from Ocarina of Time that the stage is built. Which is one of the dumbest things ever in my opinion. The carpenters could have built it. Could have built that bridge. Eh. Uh, 
did it. Where's Bodie McBoatface? Um, uh, the other thing I've been listening to, d, d Horror Stories, and I listened to, like, a compilation of ones which basically boiled down to one of the players refuses to participate. Oh, yeah. nice! Mm. They all lead to the same place. Uh, and it's like... I really want to know what goes on in the mind of players who are like that. Like the kind where it's like, oh, the party is going to, uh, the, the party is going to, uh, speak with the mayor about the werewolf problem. Well, my character's a coward and has no reason to get involved. So I'm just going to stay in the tavern. Ah, damn it. Like, what, what causes that kind of mindset? The, my character's a coward, so I'm not going to do anything? Yeah, but like, it's you as a player's duty to make a character who would have a reason to stay with the party and participate in the story. Yeah. Like, in my own campaign, there was a player who had a uh, who had a character who uh, they felt didn't have a reason to stay and that player uh, exited the campaign uh, because of you know their character didn't really have a reason to stay and I respect that decision it's better than like uh, trying to walk away from the party and expecting the 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 story to follow yeah, you know it, it's yeah, just everybody, just like you walking away and expecting everyone else to be like, no, no, go stay with us. Yeah, that's uh, like there are certain times where you can do that, like where that's warranted. All that like, work just for a joy pendant. Hey, you need like 41 of them. But, uh,. Sorry, I'm finishing my Kinder Joy. Uh, so the, uh... There are certain instances where having the, uh... Having a party member, like, want to quit and then talking them out. There are instances where that works. Uh, and it has to do with, like... Like, early in All the right, campaign... That does nothing. Early in the campaign, that's not a, uh good time to do it mid campaign when like the stakes actually get really high and that's a valid reason that's a valid time to have your character like question what the hell they're doing because of how uh be because like with super high stakes they could easily be have the mindset of like this is way out of my uh this is way out of my depth like, and then you just gotta give the conversation of like, oh, well, if we don't stop it, then no one will, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I can't do anything else with the rest of this level, rest of this room, because I don't have a bow. Well, you can always come back. Yeah. I, I gotta come back over here important. anyway, but I got some keys. Yeah. Well, what's on the other side? A locked door. No, the other side of the room. Oh, probably where I have to go. Probably. I... Like I said, I don't know how to do these dungeons in order, because I do randomizers. And this is why you are inferior. <laughs> uh, Scraps wants to know if they can uh, join the... Uh... What, like right now? Yeah. 
Uh, I don't have a head for him, but I guess if he wants. Uh. Yeah. I don't have a little graphic to put on the on the uh, overlay for him, but if he wants to join, he can. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, the, uh, God, I was, uh, out working, like, so late that, uh, I ended up getting a call from, uh, one of the people I live with, being like, hey, is everything alright? Because normally I would have gotten home, for context, I got home, like, 20 minutes before this episode, uh, started recording. And, uh, normally I would have gotten home, like, three hours before the episode starts recording. Uh. So that's, uh, that, that tells you how, uh, how busy it was today. Piss. <clears throat> yeah. Boxes are a little bit deceptive. I know. That should be fine. Act surprised when Scraps joins in. Alright. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> God. Oh god, my back. I uh I did the thing where I move my shoulders like back to try and pop my spine and it sounded like a cement truck. Oof. Oh, I just sneezed. Uh Yeah. God. Today is gonna be another very hot week. Yeah. Uh, this week is gonna be another very hot week. It sure is. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow... Actually... Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. Because we're recording this Monday. So for the next three days, the high is going to be 103. Ah. And the low is going to be around, like, 75. Oh, I hate it. I do, too. Why did we have to be born in Texas? And, um, I didn't even have time to watch the, uh, the barrel beatbox like I wanted. Ah, rip. Bomb. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. If you want it, we have it. If you have enough rupees. Boo. Ah, a stranger. <laughs> it's so scary and sudden, and it's a sneak attack. Yeah, a sneak attack. How much damage is that? How many d6 is that? Uh, that is. Well, first off, it's drowning damage right now, so. Yeah. Well, I was hold on, a hold on, joke. I need to. And I was making a joke about the fact that uh, Biddy's all wet. Kiki. All washed up. God. You know, on, I, I had to adjust your volume a little bit. Ah, that's fair. Uh, my favorite thing about Wind Waker is that Link is not a chosen hero. He's just some kid. Ah, yes. I have heard the story. Yeah, he's, he's a random kid who was named after the Hero of Time, because the Hero of Time is a religious figure, where he comes from. Ah, yeah. shoot. I like that you get to use the boat in the dungeon. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. This is the only time it happens, unfortunately. I'm... Th that's fair. But, like, even if it only happens once, it's a good novelty. Yeah, this is the uh, start of the halfway point. Mmm. Yep. So, sort of like how, um... Twilight Princess had, um... 
In uh, Twilight Princess, this would be equivalent to the uh, Water Temple. Now, I think... Wouldn't that be more like the... Um, the Desert Temple, in that case? Well, mm, this game has significantly less dungeons than Twilight Princess. Fair enough. The, uh... I I'd say the end game is after you beat... Uh... After you beat uh, most of the dungeons I gotta and all that, to go down. yeah. Uh, I I'd say the halfway point is after you beat the Earth and Wind Temple, and then all that's left to do is prepare for the uh, do the final preparation to take on the final temple or the final dungeon. I'd say that's when the end game starts. So this is like the end of the act two act one this is the end of act one okay or the start of act two i suppose uh yeah I there's only my my opinion is every act is uh dependent on how on when link is thrown into a wall yeah you know what that's valid Wink gets a concussion, and so that um, means this is result, Act Three. <laughs> Wink gets a concussion. As a result, the rest of the game is just his uh, dying, concussed brain uh, hemorrhaging blood into uh, visible <laughs> dreams. No, no. Uh, Link didn't get caught when he tried running after Errol in the beginning. So this is uh, happening as he's plummeting uh, down into the depths below. This is the darkest Legend of Zelda. Yeah, but darkness in itself. Are you is making not a, a Jacob theme. Geller reference? <laughs> uh, is that the person that did the uh, the really yeah. really good analysis? Oh, okay, I believe it is. Uh, Do, Jacob Jacob Geller does good videos. That is a really I watched that video. Um, like, yeah, it's it's just Jacob the other Geller. day. Yeah, because I sent it to you. <laughs> yeah, well, I finally got around to watching it. You sent it to me like a dozen times in the past. I've mentioned it a dozen. Well, actually, no, it only came out like barely even a month ago. I mean, you sent it to me like five different times. I sent it to you once. I've talked about it multiple times. Yeah, technically twice, actually. But... Twice? <laughs> yeah, because you you put it up in like other chapters. So. Yeah. And, and, anyway, good video. And yeah. It yeah. definitely is important. Like, darkness is not a theme. Being, just being dark and edgy is not a theme. It's the... It's the glue around a theme. Like, yeah. say something like... Pokemon. Yeah, you can make a dark Pokemon if you want where the where Pokemon rats eat go? people. But that's not, like... But that's not a theme. That's just a thing that happens. It doesn't make it any different from, like, an... A, a uh, slightly more cartoonish Monster Hunter. Yeah. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what? Oh. It was a heart. I'm, a, I'm, I'm down a heart. Ah. Uh, you can't kill the Beemos. I know. Yet. It's just that it, uh... There's a second rat somewhere. Well, it's a good thing the Beemos' range is completely listed on the floor. Oh. That's like really good visual design there, I'll give it that. Oh yeah. I'm a big fan. I like it in games when like you can tell where something goes or what happens in it. Oh yeah, yeah. Like uh telegraphing. Um, yeah. It's really good. Like uh like whenever there's a bookcase and there's scrapes on the floor next to it. Or oh, like in the Persia, stuff. the scrapes on the wall. Yes, that that's good stuff. Um, a lot of games ah. do stuff like just like ah. paint or just make things like. So the new God of War does this thing. The 2018 God of War does this thing where like all the environments are. They have yellow oh, paint on them to show where you can go. Ah. Uh. And. While they do fit it in with the story and it makes it meaningful, 
There's a lot of games that don't do that. Yeah. They do the I exact think... same thing with the paint on the wall, but they don't make it meaningful. Yep. Uh, Tomb Raider yeah, does this every... a lot. Yeah, I was about to list Tomb Raider because, like, the stuff you can jump on is yellow. And uh, granted, it is usually, like, yellow for different reasons that are fitting in the context. Ah, I missed. But uh, a lot of the times it just doesn't land. Uh, you know what did it really well, though? I think, Tomb Raider, I, think, I think Tomb Raider does it white. It's like white paint on the edge of things you can climb. It's, is it white? Uh, I thought it was yellow because wasn't, like, one of the first ones caution tape? This is a tingle statue spot. Oh. If we had the tingle tuner, we could blow it up. And oh, god it. damn it, I'm getting another wrong. phone call. Oh, no, Scrap. That, that, that's, um, oh, no, a phone call. I guess it's just me and you. Yeah. So uh, uh, a, a game that does telegraphing really well is Mirror's Edge, because the things that you can parkour on are red, and it makes sense for them to be red in the context, like, much more than... Uh, uh, Tomb Raider's telegraphing, because with Mirror's Edge, a lot of the stuff that you're parkouring around is, like, construction sites, so the red stuff is, like, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, boxes that have a, a, a red tarp on the top or whatever. Uh, also, it's, like, the visual design in general, like, mm -hmm. the, the game has a very white, stark, uh, Contrast. very clean aesthetic, and everything in red is something they want you to, like, jump and climb. If you can still jump and climb up like the white uh, bits of the environment, but it's like, they clearly intend for you to be jumping off and doing flips yeah. off the uh, the bright red obstacles. Yeah, the uh, it, it's the contrast that draws your eyes to it. That's why, like, uh, 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 Half-Life uh, did, uh, I, I believe it was Half-Life that they, like, I'm had back. it be the lights uh it, wherever you had to like the entire place was like usually darkly lit but the place you had to go was like very well lit a lot like, of games do that actually i i know but like half-life was one of the first ones because they were having a trouble like it, the play testers were having trouble figuring out where the where to go ah there we yes. go Gosh, I'm trying to remember, like, um, I read somewhere, I can't remember, I can't remember anymore, but it was the developer uh, hired on a bunch of new, oh, uh, well, and, is it Pokemon oh, Coliseum? God, no, it was not, I don't remember the company or the game, uh, but what happened is, when they had like these new people designing levels, they started putting arrows everywhere. And the developer was like, Why are you putting arrows everywhere? And I'm like, Well, we want people to know where to go. And it's like, Stop putting arrows in the environment. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, it was Bubsy. It was Bubsy 3D. Oh, yeah. No, that, that sounds about. Yeah, I can't that, do uh... that yet. Yeah, it, it might not. It might be a different story, but Bubsy 3D did the whole arrows thing. God, Bubsy 3D was just straight up unfinished. Yeah, but Bubsy 3D is a result of people who. So, so you know how like Mario 64 had um it was one of those first 3D games. Yeah, and it's like the best one of the best examples of a good yeah. 3D game. It was being pioneered 3D platforming. Meanwhile, you got something like Bubsy 3D, which was also there at like the very start, but it didn't work out for them. Yeah, and that's part not. of the, the issue. The uh, the very first uh, 3D platformer was called Jumping Flash, but Mario 64 is what like pioneered it in Perfected a. It. Yeah, well, no, not perfected it. It's the Definitely perfect not. video game. <laughs> Mario 64 and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time are perfect video games. You just and say anybody Ocarina? Says... I said Ocarina. <laughs> Did I say Bocarina? You said Ocarina. It's how Ocarina. I, how do I get them over? Uh, you have to do a running throw. What? A standing throw doesn't get as much distance. How so am I be... how am I supposed to know that? Just well, carry him. 
Oh, it's Ooh. because they got yeah. that. Okay. So you have to get him to the end and then pick him up and start walking towards the edge. Uh, when you, to they never him. explained that ever in the game. Well, to be fair, most people don't throw things while uh, standing while still. standing still. Uh, more often than not, people are moving when they throw things, so it's not something you'd really notice. I've never moved while throwing things. Oh. <sighs> Well, you, you weren't close enough. You yeah, the camera was a little fucky, you know? <laughs> Try aiming for the corner. Yep. Come on. Um. Now I gotta do this again. This yeah, when guy. I... Look, look at all the, the trouble you're putting him through. When I uh, did this dungeon the first time, I, uh, my comment was like, oh, it's supposed to be a test of courage. It ends up being a test of patience. Patience and courage are very much the same thing. Yeah. Here's what you do. You run down the, uh, the, the way, and then you'd make a hard turn and throw them. Honestly, that would probably work. But yeah, you need to throw it, like, on the yellow. Oh, I can't call him from up here. Yeah. Uh. Look, I'm trying to get on the yellow, but I'm also trying not to run off the fucking edge, you know? Well, if you run off the edge, then you're either going to catch the edge or jump onto the ledge. Yeah, and if I run off the ledge, I'm going to be holding him, and he's going to fall into the, fall actually, into the abyss again. I should just run into it while holding him. Again, I'm going to just jump off, and no, I'm not- No, you're gonna make it! No, I'm not. That's too yes, far of a distance. Do just do you it. make it. You can start, do it. Start at the wall and just run across. Fine, then. You did it. You were definitely over- All three of us were overthinking it. <laughs> I was overthinking nothing. My brain is still empty. To, to be fair, mine is too. All right, you blue sack of shit, get on that pedestal. Don't worry, the next two are much easier. As developers have said before, it's not about actually giving the players a test. It's about making them think they overcame something. Yeah. That's why if you give a player a puzzle of two plus two, it's much harder for them than something that's like, just push the button. I run a D&D campaign. Uh, push the button is a very hard puzzle for my players. Fair enough. Isn't that right, Biddy? Yeah. <laughs> God. The, uh... In the last session, uh... <laughs> one of the, uh, players was like about to attack a glitching hologram illusion <laughs> that wasn't doing anything. What do you anything. mean about to? She she had lunged at it. Oh yeah, she did, sight. actually. <laughs> so she she basically swung at a uh, a, a glitching out uh, imagine a, um, a character model that is stuck in like two frames of animation and the texture's not loaded properly. Uh, it, it was basically that. And the animation was strumming a, a loot. My kin wait beyond the doors, control them, and guide them to their pla to their places of truth to open the path to the gods. Then it just goes the fuck away. I love that I it is, uh, I just note, it is not a cylinder, it is a bunch of rectangles. Oh yeah. It, uh, honestly, I think there probably could have been a better way to execute that rather than the song just appearing and disappearing. Uh, yeah, I think that, I, I think cool, in the, though. I think in the second room, I, I think what they should have done was have the, uh, have the, there be the, the tablet in the second room, like, in front of a, a bridge. 
and then playing the song lets you control the tablet and what you got to do is like shift the tablet to the side so you can get across oh well ah but so what dungeon is this this is the third dungeon this tower of the gods okay uh, this game only It would have been has... the fourth, but reasons. Thank oh, you, nice. kind skull. The damage boosted. Thank you, kind rock skull, gaming skull monster from Doom. If only you had some item that could get rid of flames. Like a water gun. Or like a that jar can... that shoots air. Thank you very much. Yeah. Minish Cap truly is the best Zelda. <laughs> yeah, if only you had some kind of item that can shoot uh, gusts of air. Potentially. Why would I switch yeah. my, why would I switch my item layout midway through the game? Wait, hold on. No, that's not it. No. Anyway. The one I'm thinking of is probably one of those 6 8 ones. Yeah. Ah, son of a bitch. You didn't call him. Come on! You just wave your hand and he's like, hey, food, what up? Yeah. You know, that's another clue that this isn't a real Link. This one talks. Yeah, you don't control him. You guide him. Yeah. Uh, I will say, the textures on this game still beautiful. Like, look at that wall in the background. Oh, yeah. This game, style... Style. Like, style will always look better than hyperrealism. Agreed. I can definitely agree with that. I, I, I've said it nearly every episode, and it's true. This be game fair. looks better than Fallout 3, for example. To be fair, there are games in which a hyperrealistic style is fitting. There's also a ton of games where maybe if they did it stylized, it would have stood the test of time better. Yeah, that's like uh, like uh, Telltale games, for example, were stylized and they looked like really good. They still look good. Like uh, Walking Dead and Batman, Wolf Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Sus. I was, I was debating on, uh, you know, the Crooked Man's looking a bit sus. You're looking a bit Come sus. On. Sussy little baka. Stop. This is my... <laughs> this is my recording, you're going to stop that. Oh. Hey. Oh, you're hey. being a little Grongi, now, it's I, the Red King of Lions. I'm afraid that there are some areas which you will not be able to bring your servants in the tower. But don't fear, leaving them behind. Once you've awakened them, they will wait uh, patiently for your return. Of this I assure you, like myself, who waited patiently for a hero to return. Wait a minute. I'm very patient. Please. Please please come back. Pep. Yeah. Boy, if only I had an incredible healing item available to me at the moment. If yeah, only me... I, if only I had arms or legs, I could talk about I could go I, into store I and believe tell there might be a fairy in one of those jars. <laughs> nope. Do you think like, I don't want to use my soup yet? Well, if you play your cards right, you won't have to. Just don't forget to uh, oh. use your grappling hook. Do you think the King of Red Lions ever regrets using his hands? Well, uh, actually, I'll uh, let you know after this dungeon. Oh, you have to get rid of the helmet first. Oh, wait, get him to attack the pillars. But well, you have to be a bit closer. Just backflip whenever he uh, starts swinging. And I started blasting! Yes. 
See that heart? Yeah. Okay. You ripped out his heart, you monster. Yeah, you stole his belt. I stole I his belt that. off his waist. Yeah, that's my favorite detail. Uh, the only thing that doesn't that well, actually uh, you can steal more stuff. <laughs> Keep hitting. Keep hitting. You. <laughs> Kill him with his own sword. Let him have it. I never it got was... to spin around and take off his armor. That's fine. Ooh, spiky. Yeah. You can also attack the pillars with the sword. Yeah. Oh. Aw, oh, that's five dollars you lost. Game over. Well, time to restart from the beginning. Yeah, all because of that five dollars. Now you can't do the arbitrary code manipulation to see the king hey. red king of red lions fat ass. I'm not gonna lie, the king of red lions kind of thick. Dummy please, thick. Please tell me you're not going to draw a thick boat. <laughs> I'm not gonna th draw a thick boat. Scraps, however. No. I am uh, not drawing a thick boat. Scraps, if you want to join the uh, uh, the future episodes, you should totally draw Scraps uh, as the King of Red Lions, like as a boat. Well, not, maybe that. not as a boat, but like an icon. A little too high. An there icon in the design of the boat. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a geometric, uh, a geometric beard. I could do that. Damn it. You took away his fire! Piss. Uh, are, you, are you hoping to, like, <laughs> have him drop into the abyss? Yes. Very hard to aim. Yeah. Thank goodness this doesn't take up my magic. This reminds yeah. me of that. Got him. Mom. Have you ever watched Neo Yokio? No. Yes. Stupid show, but what I'm is... aware of it. All I know about Neo Yokio. Oh, I'm too far away. Neo Yokio is why I use Midnight Blue when describing dark robes rather than black. Yeah. I see you. I see you in black you're wearing... on a Midnight Blue background. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. I know about Neo Yokio is oversized Toblerone. Yeah. I mean, that's accurate. Scraps, you deserve a big Toblerone. Aww, thank you. All I know about it is big Toblerone, and that that one girl does not deserve a big Toblerone. <laughs> it has a much better Christmas special. I'll give it that. It, it's definitely a show to watch I just attacked. for the memes. Have you, have you seen the Christmas special? The Christmas special is pretty good. Uh, I have... But not since it came out. Oh, I, my I just gag. noticed. I just noticed when it's moving, the the pieces kind of jostle. Yeah, it's a neat touch. Yeah. They go up and down. Yeah. One, of my, one of my favorite things in uh, the new Yokio Christmas that. special, Pink Christmas, is when they're doing... It's when the... Um, the uh, the sales clerk gets fired. His name is literally sales clerk. Nobody knows his name. He's just referred to as sales clerk, and I think that's a very probably unintentional. On brand. It's very on brand for the main character, yeah. Uh, but um, when I... sales clerk is getting fired, uh, the management of the company is one of those, I'd say like anime VTubers. It wasn't meant to be a VTuber, but it's pretty much just an anime VTuber. Oh, hold on to that thought. Uh, I remember. Diddy. What? I know what I got. Oh, no, I, I wasn't going to tell you what to do. I was going to say, uh, this room in particular was the inspiration for the scales room in the sliding puzzle dungeon. Ooh, nice. In my campaign. Mm. Which is why I described it as having like, a marble wall with gold patterns. Ooh, hold on. 
Yeah. Is that door? I wish we could get the tingle tuner to work. Yeah. Ah. If only. Unfortunately, we tested it out and it was a little too laggy. Yeah, way too crunchy. Shit. I gotta get my timing right. Yeah, it's such a narrow window. It's a good thing that uh, I have so many. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing you got both bomb upgrades as soon as you possibly could. Got it. You got both bomb upgrades before you even threw a bomb. Well, actually no, because you had to throw bombs to get the upgrades, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Now I need to find the, the arrow fairy, but I think I might have to wait to do that. Uh, yeah, you have to wait until the ne a after the next one. You're not going to go through those doors? Uh, I'll check them out those in a bit. Those doors are a trap. Don't go through them. <laughs> Silver's trying oh, to lead locked. you down the path that, uh... God, I don't remember the, uh, the Emperor's New Group put anymore. Dang it. Uh, uh... So, uh, I'm trying to lead you down the path uh, of uh, righteousness. Or, He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. I'm leading down the path that rocks. <laughs> yes, that's it. Gambers <laughs> uh, Groove is great. Absolutely. It's great. On, on one hand, I miss Kingdom of the Sun because Kingdom of the Sun sounds great. And also, we lost the, a song from Uzma. Yeah. But on the opposite hand, Emperor's New Groove is still back, so... Yeah, you don't have a good angle. Yeah, Emperor's New Groove is fantastic. I think it's one of those cases where, like... It's we good, lost... but it, I, it's definitely not, like, a 10 out of 10 movie. I, I think the thing is, I don't think That's... King of the Sun would have been a 10 out of 10 movie either. Because... The movie was apparently way too dark even for Disney. Jesus. And that was back when, like, Disney was doing shit like Hunchback and Notre Dame. To be ah! fair, Disney did regret Hunchback and Notre Dame going that dark. So I it, think that so, is... So, so, there was, so the failure of Hunchback and Notre Dame is potentially the reason why they were pushing um, Kingdom of the Sun back a bit. That's fair. Um, I think that Hunchback and Notre Dame is one of the few movies that does deserve what? a live act. What the fuck? What the fuck? There you go. I, I, I think that Hunchback and Notre Dame is the only movie that deserves uh, a live action remake on the condition that they base it off of their musical and not the movie, like more of the, more off the musical than the movie. You know, the one with uh, Frollo uh, being Quasimodo's uncle and uh, Esmeralda dying. That's actually the book I believe. I know. Yeah, I suppose they could do that. If I was in charge, I would also have Phoebus die and Quasimodo. Like, I would have uh, Phoebus die uh, after rallying the people of uh, Paris and essentially becoming a martyr. Like, Got it. Because he's a well-liked figure. In, in, in He'd be a, a well-liked figure in the Piss. movie. Uh, so him dying would be the thing that rallies the people. Uh, and then I would have Frollo um, stab Quasimodo right before he gets thrown off the building. And then all three, uh, all the main characters end up being dead at the end. That's how I. That's what I would do. So just basically the the musical with two minor changes. I think those pots just have arrows in them. Probably. I mean, I, I get why some people might not like that, but eh, it could work. Yeah. I love the musical. The musical is fantastic. I I think the best part of the musical is that the gargoyles were replaced with the Saints of Stone. Hooray. Yeah, I can get that. The gargoyles, not, not a fan. Yeah. And the Saints of Stone are very explicitly in Quasimodo's head <clears throat> and do not interact with things outside of Quasimodo's head and speak as his uh, 
inner thoughts. And I think, because that's kind of what they were trying to do with the gargoyles, except for at the very end. Wait, this is another tingle thing, isn't it? No. Look around. Look around, bright the tingle, eyes. The tingle statues... Oh, no, get back on the moving platform and look around. The tingle statues are not ma marked on the map. And there's only one per dungeon. Ah. Uh -huh. God damn, I don't remember it being this precise. Eh, it might just be the uh, system I'm using. Well, I mean, I play the randomizer a lot. Maybe the randomizer <laughs> makes them a little bit bigger. Mm. Really? All that effort for a joy pendant? How many do you have? It's a joyous occasion. I'm just saying. Funny. Almost all right. enough to satiate the lady the first time. Yeah, all you need... Uh... If only you had some sort of glider... Yeah, if only. The, uh... I, I think the, uh... God, I fucking love that GameCraft's animation. <laughs> the, the one made by Tithinian. Oh, yeah. Of, uh... You did... You have 20! We gave you one! We still have 19! Do the math! You're a teacher! Hmm. I think I have to do something to activate them. Yeah. Oh, look at that flashing. Oh god. Do not like that. That is an actual visual glitch. And not... Intentional? I mean, it, it could be a threat. Oh hey! You can check that uh, symbol on the floor. Uh, if, if you... See? Look at your button prompt. Ah. Wind. wind, wind, where do you have wind? Wind. I'd say that's more of a gust. Wind. No. Yes! There we go. Wind! Oh. It's fucking windy. This the boss key. Nope. It's even more important. Shit. Ow. So close. Oh, oh shoot. shoot! That tactic. The yeah. entire room is coming apart. Oh yeah, I, I love the uh, the pillars. You know what is a really fucking metal, uh, like, you know what's really fucking metal? Titanium. Or, like, in, in its name, the Pillar of Autumn. That is such uh, from, a metal name. From, from Hello? Yeah, from Hello. With, uh, John, hey, with John Hello. Oh. What? That's uh -oh. bullshit. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to have one of the, the Triforce charts. Give me a second. No, nope, just, uh... Just a regular just, one? Damn it! Just treasure. Weird, those wind puzzles usually <coughs> have, uh... I really thought that was a, uh... A, a Triforce chart in there. You nope. know what's another really good name? What? what? The Hammer of Dawn. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, was that Mass Effect or Halo? Gears of War. Oh, Gears of War. Uh, yeah, the Hammer of Dawn. Uh, basically, the noun of some sort of passage of time. Well, we could probably make the our The Rock own. of Ages. <laughs> that does count. 
that, I that mean, does. yeah, name your song Rock of Ages. It's immediately badass. Also, probably yeah. already already taken. Of course it is! Love is like a bomb, come on, get it on! Yeah. No, wait. No, wait, that was pour some sugar on me. Uh, but yeah, no. Yeah. Shit, anytime I try to think of Rock of Ages, all I can think of is pour some sugar on me. I... <laughs> Because they have such similar tunes. Also, Rock of Ages is a fantastic movie, uh, by the way. It's Rock a, of Ages is in uh, Brutal Legend. Yeah. Uh, Rock of Ages, the movie, is a fantastic movie. It's got the... Uh, oh, God, who's that British musician who's always in raunchy movies? I don't know. Ah, damn it. Meatloaf? No. How do I do that? British musician in, uh, in, in raunchy movies, um... Ah, oh, shit. It's not Alec Baldwin. No, but Alec Baldwin is in it. Uh, he Russell runs a Brand? bar. Yes, Russell Brand. Ah, uh, uh, Russell Brand. I, I always forget his name. Russell yeah, Brand, Rus he, okay. Russell what Brand, been in? Rock of Ages. Oh, what uh, else? I'm looking that up right now. I got his IMDb. Uh, he was in Despicable Me as Dark Nefario. Yeah. Ah. Shit, how do I do this again? I had a lot of trouble on this puzzle too because, and I actually, I'm embarrassed to say I had to look it up because I forgot about my inventory. I forgot the items I had in my inventory. Ah, he was also in Death on the Nile. Pull him down. No. You have to get across the, uh... You have to get across the lasers. But how do you do it? Here's a hint. Oh. Oh, I don't yeah. need to give you a hint. Oh, he was in Trolls. Hi. Yeah! Oh, he was the bad guy in Trolls. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. These lasers are so loud. <laughs> Wait, Rock of Ages was a 2012 movie? Yes. Jesus Christ, I thought that was like 2003 or something. No, it's pretty recent. Hmm. Yeah, that is a lot more recent than I thought. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I like Rock of Ages. Uh, Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin uh, run a bar, and their character arc is realizing they love each other. Also, I like that the lasers have the symbol from the, the light medallion. If you go back and look at it. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Alec Baldwin, what's he been in lately? Ah, shit, Wizrobe. Uh, well, I don't know. If he, I don't know if he's gonna be in things for a while. He was in, um... Oh, uh, uh, fair, fair enough. After that accident. The, the accident. Yeah, the, uh, uh, the rust accident. But, uh, what else has he been in lately? He was, uh, he's been Boss Baby. He was in Beetlejuice. That's a good movie. It is, and I always forget that Alec Baldwin was one of the main characters because he looks so... Different when he's younger. Yeah. yeah, he was so skinny. Yeah. Uh, let's You're see. so skinny, Mr. Baldwin. What's with that? It's almost like you're a totally different person. Yeah. Was he the it's dad? Kind of what? No, he was no, the. Uh, he, he, he was he's the, the ghost he, guy. Yeah, he's the husband ghost. Yeah, that's who I mean. I've they never, I've never seen Beetlejuice. Oh, I thought you were talking about Mr. Deets when you said the dad. No, I've I've never seen in in totality Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is great. I want to watch Beetlejuice again. Yeah, it's one of Michael Keaton's best uh, 
best performances. Yeah. It uh. I'm amazed that such a dirty movie got a children's cartoon. <laughs> it happens a lot, surprisingly. It like, got a musical too. Do you remember the mask uh cartoon? Uh, or I never Ghost saw it. I knew cartoon? it had a cartoon, but I it never I never saw it. Yeah. Yeah, it, the mask had a cartoon, and that was an incredibly dirty. Uh, it only got movie. like one season. And, like, uh, Jess Harnell did all the voices. It had three seasons. 54 now I, episodes. Now, I could go in here, or I could go back and get some of those eyes that I've missed. Yeah, you probably should. There's one in the room to your right. This kind of room to the right, or what do no, you No, no, uh, in there. Uh, it'll be on your left. Nope. Three seasons no, left. Right. Wow. Okay. No, no. Sorry, sorry. The look directions are hard. Uh, in three D. Yeah. I, I. I. There's one in here. <laughs> oh, nice. You hit two. Well, actually, fifty-four episodes. It's kind of yeah. wild. That was a lot longer than I. How long did the real Ghostbusters last? Yeah. Probably a while. Uh, seven episodes, or seven seasons and 140 episodes. Oh my god, Ace Ventura got an anime TV show. Too. Oh, I forgot about that. What? What is with Jim Carrey and getting anime TV he... shows is nothing to, uh, a part of. <laughs> okay, Jim Carrey is a very wonderful actor. Can you, uh, yeah. like, can, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a Sonic TV show. Uh, a Sonic most, cartoon. Most of co Sonic cartoons. <laughs> oh, yeah. One they, where he's uh, running they, around with tails, one where they, he's uh, yeah, fighting they, in a rebellion. Yeah, there, there could even be one where there's like a robot baby Sonic. Yeah, or and they could all be voiced by, uh, by oh, the dude who did. Jaleel White they could would all be a be fantastic voice for him. Yeah, Jaleel White would be a fantastic voice for him. You could even definitely. You didn't hear it, but I just... <laughs> when I said Urkel, I, I was about to say... You can hear the gun click when I say that out loud. <laughs> but like, I, I don't get the reference. The, the, the joke is that, um... Jaleel White hates being called Urkel. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Uh, let's see. I really we, we, wish they okay. could've got him for generations. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, what's Jaleel White been in lately? I By the way, he looks fantastic. He was in, um, what? Well, Big Fat Liar. Still a great movie. Yeah, he was. Uh, what's he been in lately? Um, I think he's running oh God. a show. Uh, he's in Did I Do Aha! That to the Holidays? A Steve Urkel story. Oh, he's in, in a hustle. 2022. <laughs> oh, he was in DuckTales. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah shit, he was. he was. Yeah, he was the genie. Gene the genie. Yeah. He was in Drunk History. <laughs> oh, man, that has to be fantastic. He played Oracle in Scooby Doo Guess Who. Yeah. Uh. I don't see if there's anything I like. Oh, he was in Bones. Oh, it's still ongoing. Oh. Wow. Uh, no, no, Bones ended. Uh, but when? Uh, 2020? I don't know. After how many se 12 seasons? Hold on. 248 episodes. Oh, 2017 is when it ended. Okay. So, so he was in, like, the final season. Yeah, he, he was in the final season. Okay. Whoever a privileged student is found dead, the team goes for possible perpetrators including the roommate with rec criminal records oh i think this is the one uh is anything this the one else i need to go check yes! out or... that was a really good episode uh it turned out that the i believe the Silver. twist was the two, what is there anything else i need to go and check uh in the first floor um yeah i want to say the twist was like the one of the students was having an affair and it was about to get like get 
uh, or no, maybe the teacher was blackmailing the student or being blackmailed. You have to activate the eye in order to. You have to basically circle around the Bemos and Z target as soon as you're possible. Bemoses are very annoying. They seem it. Uh, yeah. I wonder what Emily Deschanel, Deschanel, Emily Deschanel. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know what Bones has been in lately. Uh, oh, she was in Drunk History. Oh, I can't pull yeah. it out fast enough. Well, you run. You have to keep running. Stay running. M maybe that's uh, why he got to be in Bones because they were uh, doing Drunk History together. Yeah, you have to keep running even when Z targeted. Yeah, that's the trick. It's damn rat. You, you dirty it. rat! You killed my father! <laughs> I'm waiting for him to get back down. <laughs> yeah. This isn't... This isn't your city. It's not our city. It's their city. Oh, I didn't know that she actually voiced Bones in BoJack Horseman. Wait, Bones was in BoJack Horseman? Uh, as a one-off joke, uh, Mr. Peanut Butter, the dog character, uh, was like, um... Oh, other side. It, the it joke the about, he, he's a dog, yeah, he he bones. Was like bones. Yeah, he was like, I'm gonna go watch Bones. And Diane was like, I don't think that shows what you think it's about. And then later on, he's watching, he was like, uh, well, you solved the crime. Uh, and I did it using these bones. And that's why you're called Bones. <laughs> and his ears, like, perk up every time the word bone is said. <laughs> it is such a... It's such a stupid gag. There's a lot of really good visual humor There's in There's nothing uh, in this Bojack. room. Well, I said it was the other side. You didn't specify what that meant. On the other side. <laughs> okay, it's on the left side of the room. It, it's the one that was... Yeah, yeah. Up? No, it was the one that's at the bottom of the stairs between the two torches. Yeah, yeah. I have to get uh, there first. Yeah. I love Bones. I should binge it again. Oh, she was a receptionist in Spider-Man 2. Neat. I didn't know that. Wait, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2? Yep. Hmm. She was the oh, receptionist. She, she's, she's the one who doesn't want the pizza. Exactly. I, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, right. Let me look up pizza time. Back off. God, the pizza music time. from, uh, from Spider-Man, uh, the video game, is great. Oh, God. You remember... <laughs> <coughs> oh, wait. Is it... Oh, shit. No, it's not this room, then. It's the one up there. Yeah, it's the one that was upstairs, then. Look, I... I... I am not good with directions. You can ask Scraps. I'm not good with directions either. Well, now uh, I gotta wait. Yeah, it's fair. Got a message in Discord I can look at while I wait. Who is poking you? People. Let's Just see. throw yourself on, um... Oh yeah, that is her. Do not disturb. Well, that never works. You know that. <laughs> Also, yeah, that, that definitely is her, the one that doesn't want the pizza. You know, one of the people who probably knows uh, who Spider-Man is because of context clues. I mean, I think everybody sort of figured it out, but the problem is nobody really thinks themselves. 
gosh, that person named Sp that person who's clearly Spider-Man. I never got his name. <laughs> oh well. I mean, the receptionist probably did get his name due to calling the pizza place and be like, "Hey, my delivery driver was extremely late." He was also covered in sticky webs and came in through my closet. Yeah, uh, only a few moments after Spider-Man went in there, carrying the same pizzas. How did he get into the closet? Hey, hey where did Spider-Man go? God there's damn it. A, there was a window. Not in a closet? Who the fuck would put a window in a closet? Other than in Futurama. New Yorkers. You know, that, well, I mean, Futurama does take place in New York, so I guess that's fair. Also, sorry for wasting your time with uh, treasure charts. I genuinely did not know what was in there, because, again, I play randomizers. We may never know. I could have swore that the, uh, the boss key was in one of them. Why would the boss key be on the first floor? Exploration. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so I was. Uh, I learned that there's a. Uh, I, I learned that there's lost media of uh, to catch a predator. Um, apparently, there was a, uh, a a sting operation that lasted seven uh, days where they caught like 20 people but they only ever aired like seven of the uh things and then or not seven they only aired like they, they only aired a couple and then uh use footage from uh previous uh op uh stings uh for the rest of the episode um so there's like a bunch of uh, to catch a predator stuff that's considered lost go. media due to never, <gasps> due to never airing. Wild. And I and I don't know the reason why I forgot, but I was uh I, I spent most of the day Ooh, uh, I listening. Elevated. Yeah, I spent most of the day listening to uh uh to catch a predator iceberg. Oh god, these ones are such assholes. I'm not fond of icebergs. I like them as a concept, but they're a lot of the time they're kind of stupid. And stuff that like I don't understand some of the uh the tiering uh of stuff like the leaps in logic. Yeah, like uh you'll see one where it's like, oh, Link is dead in Majora's Mask is at the bottom of the iceberg. Uh, even though that's like these ones one suck. Of the I'm not most... dealing with them. You have to. How? You have to go to the side where the like you have to go to the left side of that one. Uh, you have to go to the left side of the one on the left and the right side of the one on the right and move in a circular pattern. Uh, Oh wait, shit! No, right side on the left, left side on the right. Silver. Look, it's hard. It's hard to tell which direction the the circles are spinning. Okay. Yeah, you base. You have to circle around them, in the direction that they spin. One moment. I'll be back. Why are these the worst enemy in the game? They're they're wor the worst in this one because you can't just attack it. You might need your soup. Fucking Christ! I have to deal with these. You do. Why? Because then you won't get that chest that has the boss key. Oh, so they're just gonna magically drop a statue? No, you can stand on it. Oh, then it won't open the door. 
Look, I remember the things that happened, I don't necessarily remember the order. <coughs> but I do know that you won't be able to progress if you don't kill everything in this room. Looks like I don't have to deal with them. Great. Okay, yeah, don't. Good. What the fuck? I always thought you had to kill both of them in order to fucking do the thing. Nope. Thank God. I guess it was only At least these ones are easy did. to kill. These ones are easy to kill because they look in the same direction and they don't target you. Mm. All you have to do is wait for them to get close by and then... Or what? All you have to do is get close by. They'll activate, impede your path. And, fun fact, did you know that the, uh, feathers of the, um, if the, uh, the Kargrok drops a feather in front of the laser's path, it'll actually block the laser? I guess. I just think that's a, a very interesting fact. You can take three things from them. Yeah. Although only one of them is really useful. I mean, one of them was a heart, and the other one was uh, arrows. See, these ones are easy to kill. Yeah. It just becomes easier and easier. And then just fucking run past that one. In the 2013 Tomb Raider game, you do one kill in which she reacts, and like every kill afterwards is like, killing's easy once you get used to it. At least it's not as bad as Assassin's Creed 2, where you go on a killing spree the entire game, and then when you finally get to the person that you're uh, getting revenge on, it's like, killing you won't bring back my family. He says as he walks through the pool of bodies he left behind him. Exactly. That is... That is a really... That line is just as stupid as Fox going, uh, I won't stop you from uh, fulfilling your destiny in Fallout 3. Who, like, need, uh, it, who needs fairies it, when you have soup? Exactly. To uh, be fair, to be fair, they did go back and change that. I know, but the fact that they thought that was a good idea at all is a sin. Yeah, that's fair. I don't think you'll need your uh, soup in this one. You probably shouldn't put it on your heart bar so you don't accidentally use it. I mean, if I do use it, it's fine. I can just get more soup for free. That's fair. I love this boss. You have done well to find your way into this place. No chosen one. Accept this final challenge. It's a pretty easy boss. Can you guess where its weak points are? How do you feel about the theory that this is, this is basically a guardian? I think it fits well. The uh, the structure, the the pattern of this tower. Uh, and the uh, style of this boss does match with the uh, Chica technology, and it's uh, what is this it's music? a very it sounds very like Castlevania. I suppose it does sound a little Castlevania. Oh. Oh. It didn't. It Except didn't for the lock on. But why? Yeah, just like the trailer. Uh, it's three shots to the eye. Uh. Yeah. Are both of the hands out of commission? 
uh, you need, they will get back in time, but you got to, uh, you got to keep firing at the eyes. There. Oh god, that was barely... Come on, yeah. snot me out some arrows, you shit. Only does it when you're actually out. Yeah, probably for the best thing, use more arrows just in case you're an outfit fight. Yeah, this guy's not evil. Uh, he's here as a test. Mmm. I, yeah, you can land three hits on the eye before he uh, does this. I, I I do think it was a good idea for them to use this boss as the the trailer. I so he's very cool. He is very cool, and uh, it is a beautiful arena. Oh. Personally, I'm always a fan of like the waterfalls flying upwards through battle arenas. That's fair. Oh, you didn't go far enough. All right. It's like an easier bongo bongo. Me. Yeah. I like. So there's a, on the Zelda theory uh, scene, there's a lot of theories about this, uh, uh, the, uh, the boss from Minish Cap, which shares, like, the same design, and the Lanayru, uh desert robots from Skyward Sword. Hmm. There's, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of comparison to be drawn, um, I, and so I'm Z target. Ah, shit. Well, do you have Z target set to hold or press? I set it to hold, but it reset. I guess. Uh, why don't you check your settings? Oh shit, that's very not good. Yes! 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 Wait, hold on. There we go. Yeah, okay. I did it. Yes! You did it! And you didn't have to use your suit. The path can now be opened. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. Oh! Yeah. That is a really good portal. Hey, he didn't give you a heart. Give me that piece of heart, you shit. Spit it out your nose. God. Would you rather I have a heart that's been in someone's nose or someone's eye? Uh... I'd rather in their chest, to be fair. Yeah, but Zelda bosses don't have chests as weak points. We... I All guess. Right. Let's, uh... Hold on, honey. Well, you you, ha you 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 can't save any. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, you have to delete one. That bitch. <laughs> Remove lady. 
There we go. Yeah. A, mo um, um, a memory of the occasion. Yeah. If you want to do second quest, we'll, uh, you, you can have that be turned into a figurine. I've never bothered to do the Nintendo figurines on, uh, Tim Quaker. Uh, it's... on my old, on my old, uh, my old memory card, uh, we had, like, most of them. The, the problem with it, though, is that you can't get it in a single playthrough. You have to do the, uh, you have to use the second quest in order to do it. Now, before I ring mm. that bell, like all of our viewers should, hit that bell! <laughs> uh. What? Oh. Hit that bell. Like, subscribe. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the entire game. Just this scene. Call the gods with the bell. I yeah, guess. for whom the bell tolls. The bell tolls for me. For such a vertical place, there really is only just like two floors. Yeah. Granted, each floor is pretty massive on its own. Yeah. How did Link get down? I imagine he just jumped. You've done well, Grongi. It would be- it would seem the gods have acknowledged you as a true hero. But you named him but, Grongi? Yeah. Yeah, we named him Grongi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this does not mean your trials end here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the Ring of Light, you see shimmering in the waves before you. Your true trial will begin. So everything you've done now didn't mean jack shit. Are you ready, Grongi? Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for adventure. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ah! ready. I'm ready. I'm oh god, I'm dying. I'm gonna drown. Grongi, you can. Oh right, Grongi, you have lungs. I completely forgot. You see, I'm a boat. I seem to have sprung a leak. He's holding his breath. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I would too. Oh my god, I can breathe. I must be a Zora! <laughs> I like that he's frowning. It's very clear this is upsetting. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I would be upset, too. I thought I was going to drown. Now I'm going to live? Ugh, day ruined. Imagine if whatever magic is making them slowly sink just fell and they just plummeted. I will say, I love this part of the game. Ah, oh, shoot. It's, it's, so the, it's, the, uh, it's the River of Time from uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh. Ah, wonderful. The music... This... Okay, I, I think that this particular scene was a big inspiration for Twilight Princess. Because, like, between the music, the, uh, the feel... Yeah. You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, not really. there's not enough time for me to explain it to you right now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon, the item... Wait, once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in the castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words. See what awaits you in the castle. They're frozen. Yeah. Oh no! The the curse of the castle is spreading. <laughs> oh no! Oh, God. Yeah, the music was like backwards sounding. Yeah, it, it's. They're I love frozen. that the waterfalls are frozen as well. I kind of wish you didn't have like ripples where you walk. I feel like that kind of. It still pushes me. <laughs> yeah. You know what would have been cool if you just walked on the water. Like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would actually be way cool. I mean, it would be a little ridiculous, and probably be somebody like, "Why does he not fall through the water?" Oh, because the water Jesus? is frozen. Because the water is frozen in time, so because it can't move. Engine. Yeah, the, the water is frozen in time, so it can't move to part uh, for his feet. Yep. 
how many uh how many knights crests do you have i don't know like two or three who is that loser three uh three all right Yeah. Yeah. Who's that loser that they made into a giant statue? Ah, uh, probably some dumb asshole. Probably some dumb Boy, bitch. look at those people. They sure look sli slightly familiar. Nah, really I don't know what you're talking about. Their mustache is just kind of dumb. Yeah. And who's that dude in like the portrait to the right? Absolute loser if he couldn't stop like a few bucks. You know, kind of thick. King Harkinian would never... King Harkinian was the greatest king in, in, in that Hyrule ever had. King Harkinian took shit into his own hands. Exactly. Okay, you can't blame King Harkinian for trusting Aghanim because uh, Aghanim did solve a lot of the problems that they were oh, facing. Oh, look, at that I'm point. being messaged. Hey. Hey. All right, Grongi, we need you to listen to for to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from gaining access. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? Yes. You'll find a clue in the shape of the herald near where we arrived at the castle. It's a mighty... Th it is very difficult so that no one can ever get it. Especially not people with your name. Complete losers. <laughs> yeah. Every single one of them. Yeah, the only the only real hero was a person named Kid. I don't, I, I... You have to, yeah, you have to pull it like that. Yeah. Uh, there they are. Oh, it's a diamond. However, will you? Oh, those dis. Oh, excuse me. Those deceitful programmers making it look like a solid diamond. Mm. How dare they? Yeah. Hey, hey. No one can ever solve the mystery of the uh, basement entrance. It is impossible. The greatest puzzle of all time. Only those with great wisdom can get it. All right, let's trap myself in the middle. Hell yeah! Dun, dun, dun. Look, I'm revealed. Da 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 da. Oh no, color! This is Pleasantville all over again. Where's Toby McGuire? I want my autograph. <laughs> Sign it, Spider-Man. You, 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 what? You drag out uh, Tim McGuire what? and you ask him to sign it with Peter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sign my pizza. Yep. <laughs> oh, you're uh, really Breaking Bad, right? Uh, yes. Are you going to reference the pizza roof? The, the pizza roof incidents, yes. Oh, man. Who are those people on the stained glass windows? They look like bitches. Like so, absolute losers. So after Breaking Bad was a big hit, uh, people would show up at the house where they used to film. Uh, oh, is, excellent, Grobby. Excellent, Grobby. To perceive such a puzzle and decipher it is no small feat. Now take the sword that lies before you. Is he being sarcastic? <laughs> I'm going to guess so. It is none other than the Master Sword, the only sword that can banish Ganon from the world above. You know, from what from what I've gathered from this, I can uh, I've learned that uh, Ganon can't do puzzles. Well, yeah, no, he doesn't have the he, he he's not wisdom. He he's uh. I'm not wisdom. wisdom. Your courage. I have the courage to I... be wrong <laughs> until I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Just imagine Ganondorf like standing in front of these puzzles and just How do I up. move the blocks? You know, here, here's my pitch for a new uh, Legend of Zelda game. You play as Ganondorf trying to figure out all the goddamn puzzles. Imagine he doesn't imagine Grongi doesn't have enough hearts to pull out the sword so he just drops dead. 
you know what? That's a okay. I just remembered a thing that can uh uh that's relevant to a conversation earlier. Mm. Why does not everybody pull out the sword? Yeah, the the conversation was like whether or not people could use the sword if they're not Link. Uh, let's see. And the answer is if you're hardy enough. Let's see. Light is coming back to the oh, temple. Oh it's, no! It, it's Pleasantville, Krongi. You changed the status quo. What is Pleasantville? Ple oh, Pleasantville is a movie. Basically, Tobey Maguire gets sucked into an old black and white uh, sitcom, and uh, he and his sister—I don't know the sister's name. It's not Tobey Maguire's sister, but it's the person playing his sister. Uh, gets uh, they basically disrupt the status quo, and the more they do, the more color gets brought into the world of Pleasantville. And it's got uh, it's it's got a uh, commentary on segregation that's very, very, very uh, in your face because they refer oh, yeah. to the people who've been given color as colored people. Because everyone else is in grayscale. Mm. Mm. Look, new uh, sword and also scabbard. What did I do with the other sword? Who knows? I just you you put it in the pestle. <laughs> you just uh, slide it back in just in case. So and now, uh, now that time has returned uh, to the castle, uh, the music is now normal. Yeah. Uh, if you go and. Uh, oh, I'm recording actually. Uh, not hour long. Half, hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, if you you can actually get all the knight's crests you need right here, if you uh steal it from all the darkness that are around, but there's not enough to get to what you need, so you'd have to uh steal them and then die, to you know let them respawn and then steal them again. No fair. I'm being ganged up on. Throw a bomb. I can't throw a bomb. Alright. Well, okay, I got that go. Knight's Crest. Alright. Alright. Come on. Hold on. I like that that one spent like 20 seconds looking for his sword. Mm. Yes, you got it. Alright. You could ignore them if you want. Make a run for it. Oh, nice! Nice. If you uh, attack their armor enough, it'll just fall without having to cut the straps. Mm. Why did I climb this? To get uh, uh, the jump on them. Clearly. No, don't, because you, you're going to want to... If you die, that just means you can collect more Knight's Crests. Still. Yeah. I like that they have, like, a blacksmith apron on. Yeah. They gotta wear something. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the thing, a, a very important thing in a, uh... Why? Why what? Why did I pull out a bomb? 
the instinct. <laughs> Maybe you just need a bomb. Hell yeah. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. True. Oh, it's so good having increased damage. Oh, absolutely. Of uh, damage. Potentially. I can't do this, the super one yet. Yeah. Because you don't have enough uh, Knight's Crest. Expect that to be a weak point. Like your mother did. My mother died a wonderful old age. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic is a fun game. Yes, it is. Why do they get iframes? Just in case, you know. They're enemies! They don't deserve iframes! Do you deserve iframes? Yes, because I'm the player! Mm. Well, if you're the player, then you have like way more capability than they would. Maybe you don't need the iframe. I do though. Clearly not if they didn't give it to you. Why didn't it lock on to him? I just realized I was muted. Yeah. <laughs> so what I was gonna say what I was trying to say was uh before realizing I was muted was the uh the iframes the enemies get when they get knocked over is one of the main complaints that led to uh uh, the finishing blow in Twilight Princess, uh, where if an enemy gets- JESUS FUCK! That, that's a, that's a fair, that's yeah. a fair in, idea. Uh, yeah, in, in Twilight Princess, when an enemy gets knocked down, you can just kill them with a coup d'etat. Um, but you have a very brief window to do it, and if you're too late, then your sword gets stuck in the ground, and then you become a sitting duck for a couple seconds while you pull it out, which I think is a really good way to make it a uh, oh fucking light risk reward mm. that shouldn't be a ledge this damn game 
Hell yeah. Yeah, if you uh if you smack their armor enough times it just their armor just falls without you having to break the straps. That's fair. It takes fair. like a few hits. And you have to do like the, the stabs instead of the swings. I mean we're having trouble getting behind them, they might as well add in the option. Yeah. Come on asshole, pick your sword back up. I'm surprised that other one hasn't aggroed yet. Come on, asshole, pick up a weapon. So I can actually attack you. Yeah. There is just so much goddamn waiting. <laughs> it's true, oh. though. Yeah, it, it definitely does get better in uh, later. Um, Zelda games have so much waiting, and it's unnecessary. It definitely does get better in the later, like, with each game. Um, Majora's Mask had a lot less waiting because of the transformation masks. You could uh, easily, like become a Goron and punch through most of the defenses that uh, enemies had. How did that not hit you? Don't know. Don't care. I guess you just no clip for their sword. What? You slice it? Mm -hmm. Why didn't his armor fall off? Hell yeah. How many do you have now? I don't know. Some. Uh, you should probably check before you kill them. I mean, I've already got both of their fa both of theirs. I got ten. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. Then yeah. Well, same, because once you kill the last enemy, uh, you won't be able to, you know, die and let them respawn to get the last ones you need. Well, I, I just need ten, right? Yeah, yeah, you just need ten. Die. <sighs> so, um, I, I sent my copy, I did find my, oh, uh, Biddy, I told you this, right? About, uh, my trouble with my errands on Saturday. Fuck. I don't think I've heard about it. No, I definitely told you, because it oh, was Oh, yeah. Really, yeah. So, uh. The long story short, in uh, one of the errands I had to run was uh, was to. Um... Is there any more enemies? Uh, no, but there is a door behind you. Behind you. I know, I know. Oh, I okay. just haven't gone down this path yet. There might have been. There isn't. Oh, okay. Could have. Um. Oh, it looks like I have been here. Yeah, it, it looped around, it seems. You know, uh, Hyrule Castle was one of the first mods, uh, the mo the first modded maps. It's well, it looks like I'm going out the front. No, okay. Modded maps in no, There's No, no, modded maps in uh, Hatton Time. There is one more enemy then. Uh... Because that barrier is supposed to go down. <laughs> I I'm pretty sure. You know, or it's just once more your randomizer mm. fucking with your sense of games play. 
What? Well, uh, randomizer doesn't. All right. What the hell? Uh, maybe behind the stairs, like on the left, like. Oh. Ah, I knew it. Haha. <laughs> I wasn't wrong. God, that guy was just like, there we go. Knew it. Yeah, no, the randomizer that's fucking with my sense of progression is absolutely valid. Yeah. Because, uh, when I can go in with items that allow me to beat the dungeon re without any, like, sense of order to it. Yeah, I guess that would really mess with your ability to, like, figure out where you're going. Yeah. Oh, no, it's the barrier. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, look at that tower in the background. Hmm, what a one Ah, there, I wonder if that'll become useful later. What's it look like through your telescope? I, I do love the sunken Hyrule. It looks so massive. And even with uh even with the like the um Oh god, that's a beautiful texture. They didn't have to make it that detailed. Actually, I think they did. Ah! My foot's cramping. Oof. 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 Like, right below the big toe. You've been sitting at it awkward? No. Oh, where, like, your toe is, like, trying to, like, forcing itself to bend down and stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's like, Hate uh, those. Right, right at the arch. Uh, in line with the big toe. Mm, I hate those, hate those. I do too. Mm. Alright. Someone's pissing. Hey, look, a flag. Why is it upside- why, why is the symbol upside down? Not. Who knows? Must be a time of trouble. Speak oh, that he's above. yawning. He's fucking bored. Ah, oh, at long last, our preparations are complete. You must return to me so that we can return to the same path that brought us here. The time has come for you to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Grongi. Ah. Uh, do you think we have time for the Forsaken Fortress? Or Mm, not for the time? Forsaken Fortress, because we have been recording for just about two hours now. Alright. Uh, but I will get to the surface. And, like, deal with whatever happens up there first. Because you know there's going to be a cutscene once I surface. I think it's the cutscene's just going to be him be like, Oh, now you got to go to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh, your sword is weak. Find some... Find some triangles. Oh, no cutscene. No cutscene. Nice. Alright. Well, uh... Actually, there is one thing we could do before we end it. What? Uh, sail to the tri... What's the nearest Triangle Island? Eastern Triangle... Sail to Eastern Triangle Island, I believe. Actually, let me double check. Uh... Up. Soup. Yeah, that's fine. Uh. I wonder what the specific BPM for this is. Okay, yeah, I think uh, the, tr the Triangle Island probably has what you need. What would that be? Uh, when we get there, you'll see it. I know one of the Triangle Islands has it, or I think two of them might have it.
Maybe. Maybe? Perhaps even. Is it? Oh, I should look at those oh. new charts, by the way. Oh, yeah. Alright, uh, that's Eye Six Eye Reef. That's Beetle's chart. There's a beetle on east on the eastern triangle island, okay. Yeah. And around the Tower of the Gods, I guess. Mmm. Oh. And uh, the one dude who's definitely not Beetle because he's wearing a hat and he's white. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that's Paw Print. Alright. Oh, that's all you found. It's all of them. Alright. Uh, look around? Damn it, it's not here. Okay, uh... There's no actual chart, uh, for where to find this. It's, it's something you find on multiple things. Uh... Okay. Uh, Look, treasure. Ah, Northern Triangle Island. Northern uh, Triangle Island. Yeah, go to go to Northern Triangle Island, then if it's not here. Yeah. Okay. We've got like four minutes till we get to two hours. Yeah. All right. Uh. Oh, uh, you didn't mark it. Uh, it's like right here, right? Uh, no, that's a fairy island. It's one to the left. Yes. Wait. Yes, I believe that is it. Actually, uh, is Shark Island closer? Shark Island's like next to fucking outset. All right, then go to go to the <coughs> northern Triangle Island then. All right. That'll I'll also because that's also closer to the. Forsaken Fortress. These maps are absolutely useless because nobody, like, marks down what it is. They just say which ones it is. They don't mark it down on the sea. Oh, it's raining. Oh, nice. I really wish this game had the swift sale, but that wasn't an addition until the, uh... HD HD. Collection. Yeah. Yeah, HD well... Version. Oh, well. It's in the randomizer. So, which is great. Turn that down just a little more, actually. Right here at the end of the recording. <laughs> uh... That yeah. looks like it could be the island I'm go needing to go to. Or that could be southern. Uh, nope. I am facing north. You're, face you're facing southeast. The, the red the red arrow is north and south. The blue arrow is east and west. That's how compasses work. Needlessly complicated. Just, po just have it point where I am. But then it wouldn't work how a compass would work. I don't want it to work like a, how a compass works. I want it to work like how it would in a video game. Point to spawn? Minecraft didn't come out for another, like... Minecraft invented compasses. Changed my mind. Fuck, it's like right here. Is that one that just has 20 rupees, or is it like... I mean, probably. One. I gotta get far enough so it blows. Now I know where it is. Yep. But I do you like know, the money's movie. money and I need more of it. Yeah, Everybody really? needs more money. You only Except need, for people who have too much money. You only need a 3198. No. 3160. No. 31. Hold on. I need to do math. Uh. Uh. 
18 minus 18. 3182. Mm. That's how much you need. There we go. 84. 3184. I'm pointing directly where I need to go, I guess. Yeah. 3184 is my final offer. Sorry, banker, but I'm gonna have to go with what's in the cases. Ah, oh, it's all it's the one hundred dollar. Oof. Sorry. You should have taken no deal. Uh such a shame that uh Howie Mandel? No, I'm just talking to just uh, you know, the the let's make a deal arcade game at the tilt arcade at the tilt studio yeah oh god that it was oh. very unintuitive i mean yeah it was but also like the second time around i got really close oh hey that must be the triangle island i need to get to yep it would appear so so it was where i was no, saying it was Wait. I thought that was the ferry. No, you're right, because the ferry is below... That's uh, Tingle, Ta that's Tingle below... Tower, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 the ferry island I was thinking no, of is No, I mean below over, there. Oh, over there. Oh, that, yeah. That is Tingle Tower. Let's make the wind go north so that I go face. In between now and next week, you should probably collect all the speed charts yeah probably but don't, but don't get the forsaken fortress one though well no I that'll think... activate cutscenes and shit yeah uh actually let's wait until oh, after dear. the forsaken fortress yes fly dr go into it oh that's what you wanted yeah you got the thing that goes thwing oh that's right <laughs> hey, Scraps, you want to poison? Mmm, sure. <clears throat> Foolish creature who does not fear the gods to end the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. Yep, we just got hit him three times. Ah, uh, he's moving. Yeah, and so are you. Yeah, like to move it, move oh, it. got one. Yes. Aim for his butt. Yeah. Yeah! Alright, you angie bitch. Your brother says hi. Your brother sends his regards. That's a heck of an arm you've got there. And what an eye! No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. It's almost like it's partially see-through. You obviously have mastery of the air now that you've established that you're quite the wind waker. Uh, he said the thing! He said the credit. thing! Let's see if you can handle this. Can you handle this? Can you handle that? <laughs> Ah, uh, finally. Yes, this is gonna, travel. This is going to make filling out sea charts so much easier. <laughs> Absolutely. Yay. Wahoo! In the hands of a wind waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. I just tried to kill you earlier, but it's all water under the, the, the ocean. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call on my cyclones. Their names are Phil, Bill, and Till. Don't ask why. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you on down the road. Or down the ocean. Bye, There's frog. No roads. Ah. roads are a concept fish. of an old Let's world. Let's go somewhere. Let's use it. Hold on. There is fish. Oh, yeah. <gasps> We Wait, can get actually, more hold on. Okay, yeah. Hold on, let me... Let me, let me feed the fish. Yeah, fish, soup, and then outro. <laughs> Ooh! Yeah. 
Ooh, getting a little spooky. Is the ghost ship nearby? Oh, thank God, he's eating it. Yeah. Four, like three or four times, I have wasted bait getting a fish man. Do you know how uh, expensive bait is, Scraps? No, tell me. How expensive is bait? Ten whole rupees. That's quite a lot. For three servings. Let me tell you something, Small Fright. The school on that Windfall Island has one gorgeous teacher. But the thing is, that gang of four little hoodlums is always causing trouble for her. Those little delinquents like to cause all sorts of trouble. They go climbing trees and hiding behind buildings instead of going to school. What a bunch of savages. Somebody's got to scold those scoundrels and set them straight for the sake of that poor teacher. You hear me, Fry? That's all the info I got to offer. You want to hear it again? You'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, that's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. With that, I'm off. And with that, I... well, first. No. We... Yeah. Ballad of Golds. The Blood of Gali. Uh, that's right, there's predetermined sets. Yeah. But also, really good locations. Yep. And I only need to chart, like, four of them. Yep. Uh, let's... Let's end this... Uh... At Windfall. Oh, oh, yeah, soup. Let's get... Let, let's get some soup from Grandma. Yeah! Grandma soup. You Wasted one. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go get some grandma soup. The soup? Grandma soup is almost as good as Graydon's soup. The health potion uh, sell selling community is probably very unhappy with grandma. Doctors hate her. Learn this grandma's secret to immortality. <laughs> God. Learning this set development back a lot. <laughs> what? It because this works in real life. Uh, if you're levering, you can uh, if you. Oh yeah. If you uh, set your uh, if you like go from side to side, you'll catch the wind enough to to move uh forward. Yeah. And uh, they brought this up in development, and it's set development back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because they had to uh, add him levering his mechanic, or because they had to remove it? Uh, because originally you would not be able to do that. So when someone pointed out that it was a thing that you can do, um, they had to make it so that it worked. Yeah. Oh. Because they wanted to make it feel kind of real. So when so, someone po someone pointed out, oh, if you uh if you go from side to side, if you're against the wind, uh, you'll go forward. And they were like, well, shit, I guess we got to work that into the into the system now. <laughs> and uh, I've got mail. Good evening, letters for Grongi. We have one we letter. Just got a letter. Here's we your just letter. Got a letter. I love that we it spits it out and it's letter. wet. Oh, Grongi, do you have enough of Granny's soup? Where are you now? Uh, you may be closer than I suspect. Are you hungry? Are you keeping warm? You haven't injured yourself, have you? You always work so hard, Grongi. Do you have enough rupees? Your grandma doesn't have a lot, but I'm sending you everything I've saved up. And as long as I have you and... Yeah, as long as I have you, I don't need anything else. And I just want you to return home safely. Love? Grandma. I like to imagine she just put the letter in. <laughs> it has. She, it doesn't even have a stamp okay, on it. Okay, but this is sad. This is sad. Grandma yeah. only had 20 rupees. Well, yeah, because you robbed this, her savings under the house in episode one. Oh, right. I forgot that the sword glows when I'm souped up. Yep, because uh, you do double damage until you uh, receive a hit. It's your super form. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, Grandma's Soup. 
Time yeah. to kill her. If you kill her, then you'll never learn your recipe. Didn't you learn your lesson from uh, Graydon? <sighs> well, Graydon's there's there's, soup. there's nothing stopping us from taking a month long trip out to an out to an abandoned uh an abandoned uh cult cult temple to find his corpse and learn his secrets. Uh. Hi, Grandma. Oh, dear sweet Grongi. My dear sweet Grongi. Aren't you hungry? Eat some soup. Ah. Uh, just like any, just like any Grandma. Are, yeah. you, are you doing okay? Are you fine? Do you need money? Eat. Here's some food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, oh no, Grandma, I just ate. Eat. <laughs> God. I didn't. I I didn't have an eat eat kind of grandma. Oh, I did. My uh, my grandma is Irish. Well, her family was Irish. I think she was like first generation. And your kind old grandma filled your bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? I don't know why anyone would buy health potions or magic potions in this game. Yeah, especially when uh, soup, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, fills you to full health. Full health and full magic. and Full health, you... full magic, doubles your and... power until you get hit, and it's free. It is free, and has two servings. Actually, I don't, I don't think it's until you get hit. I think it's like a two, two and a half minute timer. No, no, it's until you get hit. Yep. I could have remembered, I, I could have sworn it had a timer. Anyway, thanks, no, Grandma. No, the, Bye. The, the the timer is uh, for the forest water. Mm. But yeah, if you go mm. out and look look for something to get hit by. Mmm, soup. <laughs> soup. Grongi swam in lava. Wait, Hold what? Hold on first. <laughs> you swam, swam in lava earlier? Them now. See? Uh, yep. Done. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for watching uh, Pos Posse. Like, comment, crack. and subscribe. Yes, comment. Um, comment challenge. Uh, What's your favorite soup? If you what? have a yes. mysterious co-host who join you in the middle of the stream, tell me so. <laughs> I don't know if we can get him, but I will give it a shot. If we later. could get him, that would be amazing. Are you kidding me? Um, if I could talk to Tommy Wiseau while he watches me play video games badly? I That would be so he's amazing. Gonna, he's going to be entirely confused, and we're going to talk about nonsense. Which is why he's perfect. Exactly. He did, he did do the Tommy Wiseau show with him playing video games. He, Tommy Wiseau's a gamer? Yeah. You know, look up the Tommy Wiseau show on YouTube. There's It's a series of him playing video games. He's been kidnapped by oh. aliens. Oh, yeah. I forgot that it was a thing. You know who I want to see? I want to see Jablinski Games and Tommy Wiseau doing a, 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 a two-person Let's Play channel, like Game Grumps. Kind of thing. I, I want to see them play It Takes Two. Could you imagine oh, if we God, could get... Oh, God, that would be a nightmare. I love that. Could you imagine if we could get Jack Black on the show? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we can't get Jack Black, but Jablinski Games. Yeah, Jablinski Maybe. Games. It, we'd have to... Uh, we'd have to play Pitfall. Uh, so, uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. Uh, there is also Pokemon Platinum and KO the Kangaroo, both of which Scraps is playing. Check out uh, the D&D campaigns. Uh, yeah. I'm in both of them. I One of them is a homebrew that I run called World of Tapir. The other is Curse of Strahd, which I play in alongside Biddy. Uh, is run by our friend Chokti. Look at my and there's feet. also Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, that I am playing. Butts and nolts. Oh shoot. Uh so uh uh with that out of the way, there's Asses, nothing left to well, say, but 
Well, you know, oh. you know what they say: asses to asses and butts to butts. <laughs> uh, good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. Uh, I'm watching you.